Hi guys and welcome to Rologic. Today I wanted to talk to you about the very first watch with the Seiko NH34 GMT movement. And as you can see, I am talking to you from my car. I have never done this before, but I'm at my point, at my spot of vacation in Normandy. And I was expecting to shoot from the beach, uh, but it is just too windy. So sorry about the artisanal conditions. But I wanted to let you know about this watch because it is the very first watch to hold this movement outside of the Seiko group, the NH34 GMT. So the watch in question is the Venezianico Nereide GMT. And it has a pretty good set of specifications with, of course, that NH34 movement that we have discussed, which what seems to be very good build quality, all in stainless steel, of course. You've got four different variations that I will display on the screen right now. The dimensions of the watch are going to be 39 millimeters in diameter by 13.3 millimeters in thickness, and that is uh, almost one millimeter thinner than the Seiko. So that is wonderful. And it's going to be only 45.5 in log to log. So that is very good as well, on par with uh, the Seiko 5. You've got a 20 millimeter in log to log. So very good set of dimensions right there. Venezianico are using what is called the Canova bracelet. And this bracelet, it is not integrated, but it does look a lot like what you can find on a Nautilus, for example, or on the Patek Philippe Nautilus. Very, very nice looking with a deployant clasp, actually. So some may not like that, but I think that it goes with the aesthetic of the watch. The brand, the brand is pretty new. It was founded in 2017, and you might know them under the name Mecanica Veneziane. And they changed their name very recently, I think, in the past year or two, to Venezianico. And I quite liked Mecanica Veneziani. And the company has made some pretty cool designs. Some are quite inspired by Rolex, like so many other companies do. But it's not that pronounced. They always try to input, to put that special touch in there. Let's talk about the rest of the specifications very quickly. We got a sapphire crystal, which was so much missed from the Seiko 5, but you've got a 120 click rotating bezel. Yeah, that might be my only pet peeve. Until I see it, there is nothing more that I can say about it, other than I really would have hoped for a bi-directional bezel. The bezel itself is made of something called BK7, which is some kind of crystal which is almost as scratch-resistant as ceramic, according to Ventianico themselves. We will have to test that, of course, if I get to have one of these on my hands. And well, that's it for the video today, guys. I just wanted to let you know because many of you were interested in the Seiko 5 GMT and about this movement. So I just wanted to let you know about the first watch which is coming out with this movement. So there you go. Once again, sorry about the rough conditions and the artisanal putting together of this video. I really hope that you find it informative though. And I really hope that you're doing wonderfully. In the meantime, don't forget to go ahead and check the video about the Seiko 5 if you haven't seen it yet. And I will be seeing you very soon. Goodbye.